Okay. Uh, the Statistics General, you released the mortality and cause of death for 2015. Mm. Could you please tell us the importance about this report? The, the importance of the, the report is that uh, in order for us to understand uh, the living, we need to understand what kills the dead. Uh, it gives us insights into that. But I've also said, um, knowing what has killed the dead comes too late when they are dead. Uh, we need to know what is likely to kill the living. So we need to understand the morbidity conditions of those who are living. We need to look at the disease patterns of the people that are alive. But in the absence of that, uh, death sheds light on what could save lives. The report is released annually, and it covers causes of death since 1997. What one would like to have rather than causes of death is uh, the morbidity conditions of people in South Africa. What are the prevalent diseases uh, in the community? So now what we are using is causes of death as a proxy uh, for health conditions in the country. Uh, for instance, we do know that um, tuberculosis is killer number one in South Africa, taking up to 35,000 uh, people at a go, men and women. Diabetes uh, is first on women, but tuberculosis uh, first on men. So that's the importance of this. South Africans do know what kills them, and they have a long period of time over which they know what actually kills South Africans. But what is important is to move uh, to mobility conditions. Okay. Mm. Uh, what is the death capital for South Africa? Well, there are several, there are multiple, depending on what you are looking for. For instance, if you want to know uh, the extent of deaths due to road accidents, you go to Waterberg in Limpopo. If you want to know uh, non-natural causes, uh, such as uh, gunshots and all that, uh, you go to uh, the Western Cape. Uh, if you want to know other non-natural causes, uh, including all other non-natural causes, uh, you go to Alfred Nzo uh, in the Eastern Cape. Okay, and what is the life expectancy in South Africa? Uh, it's been improving. I mean, uh, we were at 55 years uh, in 2007 when we started turning the corner. Uh, a number of years since then, almost 10 years down the line, uh, there have been 10 years gained uh, from 55 to about, from nine years gained from about 55 uh, to now 64 years. So it looks like it's likely that uh, a life expectancy of 70 uh, can be reached by South Africans. And in fact, the pattern of death uh, has changed, improved a lot, uh, killing people who are older at 65 and above. Before, it was the younger who were dying. Okay. Uh, tell us the story uh, of TB versus uh, diabetes. Well, I've covered that already. Uh, the issue around diabetes, uh, it's number one killer amongst women uh, in 2015, killing about 15,000 people, and tuberculosis killing about 20,000 uh, males. When you look at the age pattern of uh, these two diseases, the age pattern of tuberculosis is in the 30, uh, 50 and less uh, for, for, for males. Uh, and uh, for females, diabetes actually knocks off those who are about 65 and above. So you can see a, a symmetry, both in terms of sex and age distribution of uh, the, how these two deaths, or these two causes of death uh, manifest themselves. Thank you. Good.